The toxicity diplomat, I think uh, many oncologists now becoming familiar with, and you've always been approved for a while. Uh, you know, the major toxicity of that is colitis, uh, is the sort of life threatening colitis that requires immediate uh, indication for steroids. Nivolumab is a single agent to be better tolerated. Uh, there's not a lot of single agent toxicity to that. Probably the most prevalent single agent toxicity has been pneumonitis, but it tends to be mild. It's important to recognize. Uh, some of those patients require, you know, um, anti immune therapies as well. Uh, the combination seems to be, as I said, a bit more toxic than either alone, and substantially more toxic than either alone. Um, the deaths on trial have been to things like hypophysitis, so patients having adrenal crisis, uh, as well as uh, significant hepatic toxicity, some significant uh, GI toxicity in general. Um, these, uh, so patients that have been treated with the combination really have to be carefully monitored for a variety of autoimmune toxicities that are quite diverse, include weird things like apophysitis, cerebritis, you know, hepatitis, uh, requiring you know, mandating instant immediate use of uh, steroids and other kinds of immunosuppression. Um, having said that though, I guess the encouraging thing about the combination arm is that most of the toxicity seems to be up front and the patients who've now been followed for an additional year, there have been no further deaths, there have been no further additional toxicity, so uh, you know, it seems like if patients tolerate the regimen and, and get a few months through, then uh, you know, the, the, the big time toxicity is, is uh, early on in the therapy.